is the day before upload day. Um, I've missed a couple of weeks. I say a couple, I've missed about a month's worth of weeks. So four weeks in total. Well done with the math, Suze. All for a good reason. Um, as you all know, I was pregnant. Uh, I think the last time I vlogged, I was, I wanna say like eight months around 34 weeks pregnant. Baby was showing no signs of appearing anytime soon. Uh, we all still thought she was gonna be really late, like a week or two. Thought I might even have to be induced. Um, she is now here, however. Uh, she was born on the 7th of March at 5.25 p.m. Don't really wanna go into too much about the like pregnancy, labor and birth, just because um, I am planning on doing a video with Wayne um, over on uh, my main channel where I talk about everything basically. May get a little TMI, oh, that's your first glimpse of her. Yeah, might get a little TMI with it being obviously birth, you know, a baby's come from out of the, the, the front floof. So um, yeah, that's gonna happen. Hey, hey, hey. Shh. Um, so yeah, uh, I will be introducing you to her because obviously she's not made an appearance on this channel yet and this channel is was basically made for her. Um, so that it's basically like, you know when you were a kid and your parents used to film everything and it's all on VHS? Uh, it's basically that but on YouTube, everyone's doing it, all the family vloggers and stuff so we thought we'd jump on the bandwagon and this is basically for her. She's due a feed and a nappy change so I decided to vlog at a really inconvenient time. Oh, dear. <laughs> so yeah, not the best time to be introducing you to her because she's crying. So what I'll do is I'll change her, feed her, and then introduce you properly. Okay, so she's been fed and changed. And now she's going into her little milk coma that she goes into. <laughs> um, she's currently got baby acne which is really frustrating not for her doesn't affect her whatsoever but obviously it doesn't look very nice you can see on her cheek there i don't know if it wants to focus no but yeah it just looks really blotchy and she's got some on her arms and legs and stuff as well but apparently it clears up uh i can't remember how many weeks it is but it glows up so that's all right and we don't have to put anything on it because it might just make it worse so yeah just realized that throughout this whole section of the vlog i've not actually told you what her name is uh her name is bellatrix salvador shaw um when me and wayne get married we will be um sort of putting our names together as like a double barrel hy hyphenated name so we'll be the salvador shaws hence the name of this channel um, so we thought she should be the first person with said name. Um, Bellatrix, obviously, if you are a Harry Potter fan, you will know that that's where it's from. It's the most evil witch in the film, um, but that shouldn't really hinder that the name's nice. So, um, oh, she's starting to cry again. Um, so yeah, we just thought it was a nice name and that's exactly what we've called her. However, we tend to call her Bella and we've decided we'll probably end up calling her Bellatrix when she's been a bit naughty. But yeah, so that's what's been happening over the past month that um, there haven't been any videos. Um, we're planning on getting back onto track with one video a week again. She's just spit up, BRB. Just catching up with some videos on YouTube because that's one thing actually. After I had given birth, or should I say, when I, like, yeah, after post-pregnancy, I went, when, when, oh my god, still have baby brain, by the way, can't speak. Once we were back, I'd missed out on so many videos. Like, at one point, I had two weeks worth of Sokoni Jolies to watch, which I didn't mind, because I binge-watched the hell out of those videos. Um, but it was just, yeah, I, I missed watching them a lot. Um, but yeah, so, it's only actually now nearly four weeks after that I kind of feel like I'm getting back into a routine. Um, one of the reasons why is because um, during the delivery I had to, I, mean, I can mention some stuff here but obviously more in depth stuff will be in the other video, but um, Bella had to be 
pulled out with a Von Tuse, which is like a vacuum basically. Um, so because I was pushing for like two hours, got to the point where I was exhausted, I couldn't push anymore, so they had to help me to get her out because not only was I getting tired, but she was as well. So um, yeah, they had to perform an episiotomy, which is a little snip. They could see her head, but um, it wasn't, nothing was happening, she wasn't coming out to get the vacuum in and on her head they had to uh, cut me which is the episiotomy and said episiotomy uh, a few days later or potentially while I was still in the hospital um, some of the stitching came apart and I developed an infection uh, so it meant that I was on antibiotics and which is what made my skin flare out really bad I have such bad back knee and like on my front as well which I only had when I was a teenager and on my face um, it's starting to kind of dry up now, thank God, but um, it was really, really bad when I was on the antibiotics. But um, yeah, so the whole reason why it's taken so long for me to kind of get back into a routine with just life in general uh, was because of this infection. I couldn't um, like walk properly. I'm a very, very fast walker, um, even though my legs aren't that long. Um, and it was just horrible going out when I actually finally could and not being able to walk at the pace that I was used to um I am very much like Wayne is six foot two I want to say and he walks really quickly and he has really long dangly legs and I I can keep up with that but when I had this infection and like obviously just after delivery it was very difficult to keep up with him and it was like what's going on why isn't my body able to like carry me the way I could carry myself before it was just very strange and obviously in the films and stuff and people who have a normal pregnancy and normal delivery are up and about in a matter of weeks like two weeks or whatever um however it's now four nearly four weeks it'll be four weeks tomorrow and um I, you know, four weeks on Monday, sorry, tomorrow for you. Um, and I'm still not 100%, like obviously I'm still bleeding. It can take up to six weeks for bleeding to stop completely. And obviously I had the infection, so that's still healing. It's not completely healed. And yeah, it's just been a bit of a struggle. I think if it hadn't have been for that infection, I probably would have been well on my way to recovery a lot quicker. Um, but hey ho shit happens but I've got something good out of it so yeah um but yeah I'll talk more in depth about that um in the um, main channel video I'm also having Wayne in the video because a lot of it I either don't remember or I see differently to how Wayne saw it um so I think it's good to have obviously a personal opinion of how it went and how it felt and stuff like that but then also the side of someone who who didn't feel the pain physically maybe emotionally but didn't go through it in the same way so yeah I just thought it'd be good to see like the different sides of of birth and labor if you've missed our videos uh we're back um, and main channel videos will be going up as well. Uh, if you haven't missed us, then tough shit, we're back. <laughs> Hello. Um, I failed at uploading last week. <clears throat> to be fair, the footage you've just seen is literally all that I filmed, so, um, it would have been a little bit pointless uploading just that on Sunday. So you're now watching this the following Sunday after I said it would be uploaded. Wayne is at uni, he should be on his way home soon. Uh, which is good because I'm absolutely starving and I'm not keen about leaving um, Bella alone for too long. Like if the doorbell goes or something, I'll like nip down as long as I know that she's safe. Um, but yeah, making stuff like lunch and stuff like that, if it's nothing quick that I can just shove in the microwave or that I've made the night before, I'm quite apprehensive about leaving her for too long. So even though we have monitors and stuff, but because she's so little and I'm new to all this it's it's a little bit a bit too much for so soon she is um currently 
just lay on the bed. She loves being in this position on her belly. Um, but yeah, she's just having her little snooze. She kind of has, um, she has little, um, she has little naps and then she has like this one big sleep during the day. Um, and it normally covers 2 p.m. So at 2, I can kind of, I know that I can either tidy up or get some washing done or, yeah, but she has to fall asleep in the room that I need the work doing, which is, which can be quite difficult because a lot of the time she's up here. I don't know if I mentioned in previous um, vlogs before Bella arrived, <clears throat> but we, um, when we moved in, we separated um, our clothes, or should I say my clothes, <clears throat> and also Wayne's actually, into um, kind of what fits me while I'm pregnant and what doesn't. And, oh, she's waking up. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we basically crammed all of our stuff into one wardrobe because we were concerned that the two wardrobes wouldn't fit in our bedroom. So what we did was we put um, all winter stuff for Wayne in the wardrobe and everything that fit me while I was pregnant in the same wardrobe and then the spare wardrobe had everything else, so spring, summer and any sort of bodycon fitted stuff, skinny jeans that didn't fit me while I was pregnant in the same wardrobe in the spare room. Um, however now, um, Bella doesn't like sleeping in the crib that we bought her, she likes sleeping in her Moses basket. So that's what we've done, we've brought her Moses basket upstairs, put her crib in her room and brought the two wardrobes back in. So the two wardrobes are there and then she sleeps in her Moses basket. Um, not there, I've just moved it out of the way. Um, so now my task while she sleeps is to reorganise every single piece of clothing that I have. I've done the underwear, uh, which I've come to the conclusion that I don't have enough bras and that I need nursing bras because any other bra is just pointless having at the moment until she's not breastfeeding anymore. Um, and yeah, so pyjamas and underwear are done, both mine and Wayne's. The um, only kind of, excuse me, um, <clears throat> the major issue that I have to tackle now is my wardrobe and it's just all kinds of everything. So I have to tackle this. This is stuff that's both, both that's um, maternity, it's non-maternity, it's stuff that doesn't necessarily fit me anymore. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up going back to a size 8 that I was before getting pregnant and before Bella. I have a lot to do and I don't even know where to start. Oh god, like Wayne's shoes are in here as well. There's bedding in here, there's towels. I don't know. I will update you on this situation once it looks a little bit better. Okay, hello. I've got five minutes before uh, Bella starts crying again. Um, Basically, we are a part of this team, so to speak, um, with a company called Forever, who um, all their products, they're like a, what are they, like a beauty, health, lifestyle kind of Ooh, company. Yeah. Um, and all their products are aloe based with very little else in it. There's no chemicals, they are cruelty free, and um, it's all like natural and stuff like that. We have got a box of their um, top uh, best sellers. Uh, we were gonna do a main channel video on this, but my uh, charge on this camera is about to go. I've got like 10% or something, which is probably just enough for like little bits of vlogging like this and not an actual main channel video. So what we're gonna do is introduce you to the best selling products on this channel. And then over on the main channel in about a week or so, there'll be a main channel video about 
um, how well we've got on with the products, what we like, what we don't like, what we'd recommend, blah blah blah. Uh, we'll probably even give you uh, price lists and stuff like that. Um, there will um, also be the opportunity for you guys to join our team if you fancy uh, jumping on the bandwagon of selling said products as well. Um, so we will um, go into all of that in a second. We've just opened the box now and it came to my head we should probably be filming this. So um, we'll kind of go through everything now. The first one here is if it wants to focus. No, no. Okay, the Aloe Moisturising Lotion with Collagen and Elastin and it says Unique moistur Moisturising Lotion is designed to moisturise while maintaining natural skin pH balance and combating the dryness, the drying effects of wind and sun. <laughs> Ideal as a face, hand and body lotion, it is also an excellent foundation base for use with makeup. So that's good. One thing I definitely want to see is if any of these products, the um, kind of skincare ones that can be applied to the face, <laughs> if they are good for my oily skin because I find that products are way too thick. Um, this is an aloe lotion with jojoba oil and vitamin E. Wonderful all-purpose skin lotion formulated with 100% stabilised aloe vera gel plus collagen and elastin. Aloe lotion is effective as a moisturiser, toner, conditioner, emollient, skin pH balancer and hand and body lotion. Our exclusive formula takes advantage of the latest breakthrough in skincare technology to make aloe lotion better than ever. I realise that this is probably like me just scrambling through this really quickly, but just bear with me. This is the Forever Aloe Scrub with uh, microspheres of Yohoba. Uh, so exclusive formula, blah blah blah, which is exactly what it said to the other one. Cleansing process to protect it from the drying and damaging effects that can occur with other skin cleansers containing synthetic cleansing agents. Forever Aloe Scrub is gentle enough to use every day. The next one is this aloe propolis or propolis cream. Uh, helps maintain beautiful skin tone and texture. Uh, the cream is a rich, creamy blend of our legendary aloe vera gel and brie prop propolis extract. Nourish your skin with this unique combination blended with soothing herbs, vitamins A and E and select moisturizers. This one is aloe vera jelly. Soothing Clear Gel um, is especially prepared for topical application to moisturise, soothe and condition. Non-irritating action makes aloe vera jelly an ideal companion for your skin. I'm guessing this one with it being like a jelly, this will be good for use as an after sun. But then again, maybe the lotions as well because it's all aloe based. Aloe Heat Lotion, uh, Soothing Massage Lotion. So this will probably be used for... Um, muscle relaxing and pain after gyms and stuff like that. Next is an Aloe Evershield deodorant stick. I'm not usually a fan of deodorant sticks so I want to see what this is like. Uh, contains no harsh aluminium salts and provides effective protection against underarm odour. Glides on smoothly and will not stain clothes. This is a forever arctic sea omega-3 fish and calamari oils with olive oil food supplement there's stuff in here that i'm not entirely sure if i can take obviously with me breastfeeding but um i'll definitely look into that and let you guys know um and some of the topical stuff like maybe the heat lotion i won't be able to use either but um i'll look into that as well um i will you will, yeah, well, yeah, if I don't use it, Wayne will, Bless so you'll you. get um, feedback from at least one of us. Um, with these, you're supposed to take two with meals three times a day with water. This is a Aloe Yohoba Conditioning Rinse. Improved formula for superior manageability, pH balance. Oh, that's the conditioner. This is the shampoo. Uh, shiny, soft and manageable hair. Again, um greasy hair so I want to see how this does in comparison to anti-oiliness of shampoos. This is a hand and face soap, uh, blah blah blah, um, gentle ingredients, hand and face soap leaves skin soft and hydrated, free of parabens, aloe hand and face soap, cleans without drying and it's mild pleasant fragrance leaves skin feeling pampered and silky smooth. Another thing I want to check is if they all smell the same or if they all have slightly different scents depending on what they've mixed in with the aloe. 
The next one that Wayne seems to be quite interested in, and me as well actually, but we need to find out if yeah. I can still take these, but um, these are Forever Bee Pollen Food Supplements 100 Tablets. You take it um, it's once or twice a day, and um, for me, mm -hmm. being at work, I tend to get to a point in the day where I need some energy and I have a Red Bull, mm -hmm. but with that... I won't need it. Yeah. It's like a, a healthy, natural version of an energy boost. The only ingredients that I can see in here are bee pollen, honey, anti-caking agent, which is what's used in a lot of stuff, yep. and royal jelly. So it's pretty natural. Yeah. It's just a case of what it does. But we'll have a look in... I'm um, looking forward to seeing the, um, the effects of that. Yeah. We're going to go through this as well, which is just like a little booklet, and it'll probably talk us through each of the um, items as well. So see if it benefits us. Luna's just... Oh, yeah. Excuse, excuse, blah, blah, blah. excuse the clothes. I've still not finished the wardrobe I was talking about before. Um, Aloe lips with Jehovah. Why isn't it focusing? Uh, okay, so this is obviously a lip balm. I don't have to talk through that. You guys know what lip balms do. Oh, two of them, so you can have one too. And some hand sanitizing gel. You can't go wrong with hand sanitizing gel. It's got aloe and honey. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Yep, awesome. Now, we have... You can talk through this, because I don't really understand this much. This is the one that I'm most really excited, excited for. About. Okay. Um, Three gels, all completely different. Mm -hmm. Gel in what way? A drinking gel. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you get one of these. I think you take. Oh, I need to read up on it, but I think it's. Um, um, it says 120 mil. Um, Which is. <laughs> That's a lot of these. Yeah. Um, so that's 50. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you only take about 60 per serving. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just like a shot. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to go into the details of each one before I know exactly which one's which, but they... they hey. They help with your um, your digestive system, your nervous system, and your everyday well-being. Immune system. Your immune system, and your joints, your bones, everything like that. They just make you feel a little bit rosy. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of being a bit down in the dumps, have some gel. And, and all is well. All is well. <laughs> wow, that's really bad. <laughs> but uh, in terms of the specific. Um, we'll have to look in the book for yeah, that. These, the specific uses for each one and the effects, um, we'll definitely look into it and um, inform. Yep. Oh, one thing that actually uh, I want Wayne to try on camera is uh, the toothpaste, which is still in the oh, bathroom. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take this little raster. How are we going to do this? Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That was a lovely shot of your face there, really <laughs> nice and close up. Ooh. Say hi. You ready? She's falling asleep, oh. bless her. Okay, do you want to come and show it up close? It smells minty. Oh, does it? Looks a bit grassy, almost like a a green apple jelly bean at the moment. <laughs> it does actually. <laughs> right. Right. Well, bottoms up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, it's foamy. Foamy. That's good right. though. I like foamy toothpaste. Yeah. If it doesn't foam, it's a bit like um, shampoo and stuff. If it doesn't foam, I feel like it's not working. Yeah. Is it nice? <laughs> oh my god! I don't know if the camera's gonna fit. Come over here. 
That doesn't happen often, does it? Go on. <laughs> we might need to use it on the cats because don't they have like gingivitis? Yeah, you can use it on your pets as well. I don't know if they'd appreciate well, the mintiness of that though. As well as the gels. You can you can put the gels in your, your pet's water. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. So if your if your pet has Do you know what we know isn't one of those gels uh like for bones and stuff, your parents should use that on Josh. I've already told them. Oh have you? Yeah. Family dog Josh is ten. Um and the liveliest dog you've ever seen. Yeah. Would chase a stick three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten miles <laughs> and bring it all the way back. <laughs> um, he has been diagnosed with arthritis in his back legs, mm -hmm. so now he barely even gets out of his bed. Someone will throw him a stick. And he he won't just, even bother. He'll just look at it. Which is sad because we don't so, know Josh like that. No, he won't eat any of his food anymore. Um, he's just sat And there. he eats everything. Yeah, apart from lettuce. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's really sad. We we don't know what's going to happen with him at the moment, so it's all a bit, a bit, sad. Sad. A bit sad. Yeah. But, um, but it, your parents should definitely I'm gonna give them one try of these, and do um, that. These gels to try. Yeah. Well, one of them does help with bones and joints. To be honest, so all three of them—your mum, your dad, and Josh—need that. Yeah. So.